So as you can see, we still got the diamond hand. And for those of you who are going to wish heavy, heavy hater raid on me, I'm going to let you know that I'm still diamond handing my share of GameStop in Robin Hood because that's where I kept it. And there we go. I've got my GME position. So you cannot say that these hands are not diamond. Now, why is GameStop running? Um, I know that a lot of people thought this day was coming. Um, I was kind of wondering because the short interest was down and to be honest, I didn't know if it would have an opportunity to squeeze like that again. Um, but I'm glad that there's so many people that had diamond hands that are way stronger than mine. Um, I honestly usually watch GameStop every single day, but this week I hadn't really paid attention to it. And I swear, if you see me um, talk about a stock and then forget about it for a while, maybe you should check that because usually those ones are seeming to be the ones that run. Anyway, so why is it running? Well, the short interest is up and they just announced that the CFO is resigning. And... For whatever reason, that seems to be a positive catalyst for the company. It can be financially restructured. So that's why it's running. Um, and, of course, Wall Street Bets, as soon as they saw it go up from $45 to $60, they're like, let's get in again. They saw more momentum, and it just kept going. And now we're looking at, um, as I saw, like some YouTubers said, that there are $500 calls that were completely worth this yesterday. And by the end of the day, into the market close, they actually were up 200% on those calls, so that is pretty intense. Um, I'm going to give you a screenshot here of the change percentage changes in value according to Robinhood of all the call options of GME. But anyway, so those are the catalysts. Um, you know that as soon as there's momentum, people are going to FOMO into it, and then shorts are going to get squeezed. Short interest has already increased, and then the CFO leaving was also a news catalyst as well. So there we have it. Um, I'm kind of thinking and wondering, and I would love to know what you think, um, if all of the calls can expire in the money for GameStop um, by the end of the week, but I really don't know. That would be amazing, but I think now, as others have said, the shorts have seen what has happened, and they're definitely going to be more cautious. Um, because they don't want to get stuck in the squeezy squelch. So anyway, there you have it. Giving you that screenshot now. Thank you. Okay, so quick update. Um, the most far out of the money calls, as you're going to see, are 800. I would love to see GameStop squeeze to 1,000 this week. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> um, I think the shorts are just a lot more cautious, so the likelihood of that is iffy. But anyway, let's scroll through Robin Hood. From the top, going to the most out of the money strike available on Robin Hood of GME, which is 800. Now look at this. This is insane. The prices of these call options, even though they're OTM out of the money, um, except for 780 and 760, it's looking like 19,200%, 0%, 19,200. Um, the 650s, honestly, it's looking like the market makers didn't really know what to do. So some of these prices that you're seeing are totally random. Like how is it that the 620 is negative 50%? This is 0%, 0%, 0%, negative 50, 66. But then those crazy ones that are out of the money, 13,000%, 11,433.33%. Insane. <laughs> 19,900. You get the picture. Anyway, this is just amazing. <laughs> Never seen anything like this except last month when the original um, squeeze was closed with GameStop. So there you go.